Is NASCAR 21 Ignition actually good? No, but we're here to find out for some reason. And yes, you can tell it's a very sunny morning. It is the morning. And you can tell because it's literally my entire, this side of my face is completely in direct sunlight. So the lighting's gonna be a little bit weird, but hopefully you guys are having a great day now. Now what's going on guys? Well, on Twitter yesterday, there was a tweet that went viral about NASCAR 21 Ignition. And it's from uh, the Twitter account, I have 40 wins. And he said, NASCAR heat uh, having no multi-groove racing and terrible physics is strong and empowering. Uh, NASCAR 21 Ignition having multi-groove racing and good physics broke poorly made in the worst NASCAR game ever. And then he would show clips of, I think it's online racing of uh, NASCAR 21 Ignition. As a, you know, a lot of interactions, it's 211,000 views on Twitter. So there was a massive debate on Twitter yesterday, basically about like, is NASCAR 21 Ignition actually good? And uh, well, I was tagged in it. I saw it. Obviously I am the person that in the first career episode ever of NASCAR 21 Ignition, I have it titled, this is good. <laughs> so I mean, I have said it's good before. The problem is it was good for a few laps and then the caution came out and I never had that gameplay ever again. I've tried to replicate it. I've tried to get that type of gameplay back, but whatever was in that day one uh, version of NASCAR 21 Ignition before that first caution ever came out, I've never had gameplay like that ever again at Daytona. So uh, I don't know. Unfortunately, you could go back and watch that video on the channel. It's one of the most, most popular videos, and it genuinely was good for a little bit until the caution comes out, and then everything goes to hell. So what we're going to find out today is, is is he telling the truth. And there's another um, another Twitter account, uh, Jimmy Red Pants, that says he finally figured out the settings that no one else has. So that is what we're going to run today. Now, I have 40 wins is mainly talking about online racing. Now, I always play NASCAR 21 Ignition uh, on the PC. So there's usually, there's like nobody ever online. There literally is nobody online, guys. Now, the weirdest thing is he plays it on the console. Guys, this game on the console runs at 30 FPS. It's way worse. This game on console is way worse than PC. I've always played this game on PC. I can't even imagine not playing this game at 60 FPS. Yeah, I don't know about that. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the settings. And we're going to go ahead and put the settings in. I've not tested this yet. So that's why we're going to have to see what this is like. So this is the, the one thing I'm very worried about is this, is that we're not going to be on extreme difficulty. We're going to be on champion difficulty. And then we go from there. It is medium steering assist, which is, again, not something I would want to put on. But you know what? We're going to try it. Low braking assist. ABS on, spin recovery is on, which I don't really feel like I need that, but okay, you know what, we're gonna put that on. Uh, traction control is now off, and then transmission I'm gonna keep on manual. So, I'll be honest guys, I don't agree with a lot of these settings. I think traction control should be on medium, I think spin recovery should be off, I think braking assistance should be off, I think steering assistance should be off, I think the difficulty should be on extreme, but we will go ahead with it. I will not, uh, complain i will run these exact settings um and we will go ahead and see is the is the game actually good i'm not gonna do the next gen car absolutely no uh we're not gonna do that let's go ahead and uh pick a random driver we're gonna go ahead and pick uh i don't know let's pick alex bowman alex bowman what paint schemes you got we're gonna use this one okay let's go ahead and pick alex bowman let's go to a track that is not broken so uh probably las vegas right i think las vegas is a track that isn't broken uh mile and a half no problems there let's make it a five percent race um we're gonna go visual damage only tire wear i will put on and we will start in the last position that is the settings that we will use let's see if it works i want to give a shout out to all the patreon members as always for your support on the channel you guys are the absolute best thank you guys so much for your support Alex let me know in the comments down below if you want to try these settings the uh, if you have this game and see if it works i've never done a race with the settings as you can see so i i mean we'll find out i'm not even going to change the setup i usually do change the setup but now that we have a steering assist on i i don't really know this is probably going to play very differently, to be honest. I'm kind of nervous about it. Okay, automatically, it feels a lot more like NASCAR heat. Like, the the steering is, uh... It's, like, helping me. I, <laughs> I don't like it. It feels like NASCAR 09, actually. Because, you know, on, on uh, NASCAR 09, you have to run steering help on high at mile-and-a-half tracks on that game in order to go fast. So, uh, that's what it feels like right now. 
I'm going full throttle around the racetrack. Um, the AI are pretty decent. Uh, they don't look like they're braking right now. Yeah, I mean, the fi it makes the physics a lot worse. I'll tell you that right now. Like it, this car feel. I feel like I have so much assistance with it. Um, it, you know, that part doesn't feel good, but uh, I guess if you want to play it like this, I, it's understandable. There's no horsepower in this uh, Gen 6 car, so it's kind of sad. AI is a little bit slow, but I can see how you can maybe get good racing out of this. I, I would not play the game like this, though. I'm three laps in, and I'm telling you right now, like, I, I, look, it feels like NASCAR heat. The way when you have, oh, the AI are still going to do that. Now, with the steering help, I don't think I can actually wreck from this. I'm testing it. Yeah, I can't. It, it makes it, see, look, I can just bounce off of them and nothing happens. So... Okay, this is... It makes it a lot more forgiving. Do I think it makes it better? I think it makes it less frustrating. Like, I probably would have wrecked by now from the AI, but... I don't think it makes it better. No, I would I would not say it makes it better. When I came into this, and I was like, does it actually make the game good? The, the biggest reason why I was, like, skeptical on it... Is that it doesn't change the AI. Nothing changes the AI, so... I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. It, it slows you down, so it, it makes the champion difficulty actually reasonable, because it slows you down. Like, these settings slow me down. The car is a lot tighter, and it just feels a little bit slower, but... I don't know. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this race again with the settings I run, which is basically no settings, no help, uh, with medium traction control. I don't think traction control makes a difference at this track. The only reason why I have traction control at the majority of tracks is because you need them at like road courses or short track stuff like it doesn't make a difference at Las Vegas but uh, yeah we're gonna put the difficulty back to extreme and then because look at the check up there we're gonna put the difficulty back to extreme and then we're gonna see uh, we're gonna take all these settings off and then we'll see that so I actually don't even think I don't even feel like I need to finish this race we kind of know that what that's gonna be like okay so let's go to can I change anything from here no right uh, no okay so we're gonna go we're gonna quit we're gonna come back uh, let's go put the other settings on and so let's go difficulty we're gonna go extreme off off on off and then we'll just keep traction control off it doesn't matter at Las Vegas we're gonna go right back to it and we'll do it again the actual driving physics is, is a lot better when you don't have the assist on like when you don't have the assist on it just feels a lot better um, let's see if there's any real difference Again, I can go a lot faster with the assist off because I'm already carrying 175 mile per hour speed. So we bump the difficulty up and then we take the assist off and it drives a little bit differently. I mean, the, the car drives better, but it, like I said, it doesn't change anything. I mean, if these this right here looks identical to what we did before. It's just that I think it's a, we're more susceptible to getting wrecked because we have no assistance or anything but even on extreme difficulty you can see they still check up in the same area entering turn three the ai will check up and so there's not really any difference there so that's why i was like yeah it's not i don't think anything's going to change here i'm gonna go i have more like freedom with my car i can control it a lot more uh truex is probably not going to give me the room there yep he's not going to do it uh we continue on don't get hooked right there clear him boom and what, we were seven laps in, we got to fifth? I think we're probably gonna get to the lead by lap seven. God damn, look at this thing, Jesus. Oh my God. It's a lot faster when you take the assist off. Oh my Lord. I actually didn't realize how how big the difference is. It's a very big difference. And yep, in a little bit less time, we're basically back to where we were. We're P4 right now, and we should be able to get to the lead, as I thought, by lap seven. So around these guys we go, because they check up in the entry of turns three and that's the thing there's no settings you can run that will change the ai and as long as you can't change the ai you cannot have fun on this game uh now what I, what i do, what i do agree with him in is online now if you can find people to race with online i would much rather you race on pc than and then console i would not be playing this game on console i'm sorry 30 frames per second on console for this game I, I cannot do that. I, I refuse. No, 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 no. If you could find people to race on PC, then I would do that. But the thing is, there's nobody on PC. So, 
Do I see a way where you can have fun with your friends on this game online? Yeah, I've always kind of thought that. I always thought, yeah, there's a way you can do it. But is does it actually make the game playable offline? No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it's not really. I mean, this is not all that fun. I know where they're going to check up every single time. And there we go. We're in the lead. So... Yeah, it's, it is what it is. We're coming to the line. Who's going to win? It's going to be Denny Hamlin. Yay, Hamlin wins. And then we crash. We ow. Uh, ow. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we leave. Now, I did see that there was a clip at Richmond. I'm sorry, there's absolutely no way these settings make Richmond possible. I'm so there's no way. But we will give it a shot. Low. Uh, on and off. Okay, right? Everything good? Okay. If this actually makes Richmond playable, I will be shocked. But we will see. Alex Bowman, let's go. We are going to Richmond. We're going to put Richmond at night, too. So let's go change event. Yep, there we go. All right, night race to Richmond. Let's go. I legitimately saw, like, in the clip... Uh, that the AI were racing competently at Richmond with these settings. If that actually happens, I will be shocked, but I guess we will find out. Um, automatically, right off the bat, I the, the driving physics with these settings are just not fun. I'm sorry. like the, It's turning my car for me. I cannot play the game like this. No, no, no. The, the physics are terrible. It feels like it feels like NASCAR Heat Evolution physics. I'm not even kidding. This, it's turning for me. I swear in my life, the, the game is turning for I want to look at the steering wheel. Cause I'm tur it's turning for me. Yep. Yep. It's turning for me. So media. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Look at it. I'm not turning right. No, 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 no. I was not turning right there. I swear. I swear on my life with a controller. Look, I am locked. Look at this. See that? You see that? It's turning right for me. I am locked to the left. Ah, uh, no, no. If you, if you can play the game like this, bravo to you, but I cannot. No way. No way. It looks like under champion difficulty, the AI do look competent, at least at Richmond. It looks like they're not making mistakes. Uh, did I speak too soon? No, they, they're not making mistakes, but there's absolutely no way. There's no, no, no way I could play this game with, uh, with these types of settings. I, I, I even have braking. I just noticed the, the game is braking for me. I'm, well, wait a minute. I'm going to go... I just want to see this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go full throttle in turn three. That Guys, that's me full throttle. It's slowing me down intentionally. I'm going full throttle. Watch this. Watch this. Full throttle. Here we go. Here we go. 144. Look at that. Now it's going down. I have my finger on the trigger. <laughs> that is crazy. No, 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 no. No, I can't. I can't. I cannot play it like this. I'm sorry. I cannot do this. Respect to you, Jimmy. If, you, if you're going to have fun playing this game with these settings, respect. If anyone else can have fun playing these settings, well, now you know them. Can I have fun playing these settings? No way. I feel like, I feel like it's a mobile game. I feel like I am being assisted. I can't spin the car out at all. The brake control is helping me. Like, nah. I, yeah, no. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't. That's... Whoa, no, 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 I, I can't. Once I saw that, nah, no, 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 no. We got to take that off. No way. Like I said, the only tracks that I think you can actually have fun on this game with, you know, the normal settings that actually make the driving physics good, track and, traction control on medium, uh, is tracks like, where is it? Uh, where, is it where is it? Tracks like Watkins Glen. I still believe to this day that this is the best road course on this game. Uh, the road course racing on this game, you go to Circuit of the Americas and stuff like that. I think you'd have Welcome a lot of fun. Problem is everywhere else, it absolutely sucks. Alex but even at Watkins Glen, the AI do like flip sometimes in the bus stop. So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, all that great. And as, of course, like every other NASCAR game ever made, they can never make it through turn one. <laughs> That's not a NASCAR 21 ignition problem. That is a NASCAR problem. Uh, it's always been like that. But once you actually get going, yeah, Watkins Glen is great. Uh, the, the driving physics around the road courses are actually really good. I've always said that since day one. And, uh, yeah, that's that's not going to change. I just want to see if they flip here. 
But sometimes they do. They they flip in the bus stop chicane. Ooh boy. Let's see what they do. Is anyone gonna flip here? Anyone flip back there? Nope. I the one thing I before they updated the game, I don't remember the AI being this check up y at Watkins Glen. I don't remember that. Like I genuinely remember running like 30th sometimes. And I feel like ever since they updated this game back whenever, they kind of messed up the AI even more. I, I don't know, because I don't remember. I have to go back and watch like my first few races at uh, at road courses. Ow, that was completely my fault. <laughs> I have to watch my first few races at road courses, but I don't remember them checking up this much. Well, yeah, like I said, if you just want to run laps, I love the way the curbs feel. I like how the way the, the car reacts to the curbs. Like... You can tell that this game has a lot of R Factor 2 in it. I mean, R Factor 2, mainly on road courses, you can tell. Like, there's actually a lot of positives in this game on the road courses. The way the car handles road courses is very good. Like, it's, it, it is very good. I'm not even exaggerating. It's, it's really, really good. It's just a shame that, you know, everything else kind of sucks. And the AI is definitely different. Because, like I said, I should not be able to gain on Truex like this. On, if I could if I could somehow revert my game to the day one edition, I'd be able to show you guys. I can't do that, though. Like, once you update the game, the game's updated. I can't get back to the day one edition. So that's very frustrating, but... Um, yeah, day one at Watkins Glen, I literally remember running 30th and struggling for my life. So, unfortunately, that's not really the case anymore. The AI have been dumbed down or something. I don't know what. Ever since they put in the next-gen update and they did some other changes, the AI have gotten ex ex exponentially worse. They've gotten uh, slower. They behave worse. Everything's just worse. Like, this is extreme difficulty at Watkins Glen. This was a challenge. In the Gen 6 car, this was a big challenge, and now I can just fly through the field like this. I had, like, really good battles at this track. Really good battles. So... Not even, even this, like, I'm showcasing this right now. Even this, Watkins Glen, which is, in my opinion, the best track on the game, is no longer the best track on the game when you're racing against the AI because the AI suck around here now. Why do they suck around here? I don't know. I don't know what they changed, but they suck around here now. I just want to see if I can make this move. Yep. They're aware. Oh, Austin! Ah! <laughs> yeah, before, like, before you would, like, race like that, and they'd be so much faster, but now, now no, they're just a lot slower. That's very sad, man. Damn it. It looks like the difference of the leader hasn't changed. I don't know where the leader is, but it says right now Tyler Reddick is 11 seconds ahead. So, uh, yeah, I guess that is kind of the AI I'm expecting. That was what the AI were before they updated this game, except that it was the entire field going that fast. Now we have Cody Ware and James Davison after five laps just be so much slow you know i'm gonna go through here i'm gonna go try and find tyler reddick i don't know where he is uh he's nowhere near <laughs> is he anywhere up there is he is he up there somewhere is there a car up there i, I think so yeah he, he just went through turn 10 all right so that shows you how fast the leader can be at Watkins Glen when he's not getting held up by traffic but i'm pretty sure i can still probably run him down uh, if I had more time, but we do not. So, in general, guys, is NASCAR 21 Ignition good with certain settings? No, no. Even NASCAR 21 Ignition wasn't as good as it was before. No. Like, that's the sad thing, is that this race was the race that I was very happy with. I was happy with Watkins Glen. I was like, it was challenging. Running 29th, having 1v1 battles, and now, now it's just nothing. It's just nothing. I'm, I'm just gonna check. Did I have, did I have the right settings on? Yep, I had extreme difficulty. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I do not know. Um, I guess I'll try one more thing. Let's. Watkins Glen was the track. I don't know what other track I could even try. What other? I mean, Sonoma, no. Uh, no, there's nothing. There's nothing. Uh, no. I don't even remember. I genuinely do not remember what Daytona Road even drives like. I don't remember what the AI do the, the, do here either. So I guess it is a road course. We'll see. Oh, no. This is the one with the backstretch cane. Oh, yeah. I remember. The AI suck through there. <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, let's see. Let's see what this is like. This this is gonna be an experience. Cause oh boy, yep, I can't even get on the brakes quick enough. Yeah. All right. Nice. Fair enough. I'm just gonna have to go all the way down here immediately. Nice. All right. Off we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, I'm just gonna crawl through here at like you know bus pace. All right. Nice and simple there. Great. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, the AR in this game make, for almost three years now, have made my head do jumping jacks and twister. I'm playing twister in my head right now. That's what it feels like. How do I even, do I just gotta like, just check up right here? Oh, yep, they're wrecking. There they go, Kurt Busch goes around. Nice there, he's gonna stop in front of the field too, so goodbye to them. Yeah, this track does not have enough width for the AI. <laughs> Are they still over there? Yep, they're still stopped over there. Nice, all right, well, that's great. Everyone's trying to get in line. The nice R Factor 2 AI of everybody just getting in line and trying to run the same exact line. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry, but this game is not good. I understand if you say the physics are better than heat. I somewhat agree with that. The actual driving physics, yes. The driving physics on this game are better than NASCAR heat. I agree, but in almost every other category, uh, other than graphics, it's not better. I yeah, know, definitely not. But the NASCAR heat games aren't even that good either. That's the thing. This, the bar is so low, guys. Like, why am I going 200 miles? What the hell? I just, what the, I just hit 200 miles per hour. What the hell? How much horsepower do I got in this thing? Wait a minute. God damn. I literally just hit 200 miles per hour entering the Baxter chicane. Oh my god. How did they get through here? I don't even. Oh boy, what the hell are we doing here? I don't remember this at all. Alright, ow. Eh. Yeah, it's kind of like the Roval, basically. Yeah, and then once you get into this position where after one lap the field is spread apart, basically, it's just a simple thing as everybody's going to run the same exact line. The AI are not going to pass each other, and you just pass them one by one. It's exactly like R Factor 2. It's 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 carbon copy. So just a into a console version or something like that. So the answers are all there. Got get the hell out of my way, you bum! I just want to see this again because I want to make sure I'm not tripping. Look how fast this thing gets from 100 to 200. Yeah, this, we got we got some horsepower in this thing. Good lord, look at this thing go. 178, 180, 185, 190, god damn, 199, and I got on the brakes early, 199 into the back Shisha cane, and I definitely got on the brakes very early, lord have mercy, yep, I remember that, I remember that, as soon as you get on the brakes, trying to enter because you're turning, the game's like, nah, you are not allowed to do that. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there. Uh, let's see, that's victory lane. I'd like to go into victory lane, but the game will not let me because that's where I want to enter. I want to go to victory lane, but no. How do I get to my garage area on this, on this version of Daytona Road Course? How, where's the garage entrance, please? Right there? There it is. All right, I'm here, baby. Hi, guys. Hi, fans. How's it going? Uh, I want to go to Victory Lane. Can you guys let me go to Victory Lane, please? Excuse me. All right, let's go. Yeah. What? Damn it. I know exactly. This is the fan zone, right? We in fan zone? Yep, this is the fan zone. Okay. I usually get right through here. Yep. Uh, can I uh, Can I go through the fire lane? Nah. Look, I'm trying to get to Victory Lane, guys. Can you open it up, please? Uh, can someone get this freaking whatever this is, camera stand out of the way? I can. Okay, no. No, we're not gonna let me. It's fine. It's fine. I know the Daytona infield like the back of my hand. Hey, can you guys get? I'm gonna run you guys over. Like, can, you're not gonna let me run you over. All right, fine, fine. Developers just had to put invisible walls there, so I can't run over the pedestrians. That's fine. That's fine. Get out. Get out of my way, you freaking hot dogs. All right. I'm just gonna park it. Uh, where are we gonna go here? Uh, I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm just gonna go around here. Excuse me, guys. Excuse Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm saying excuse me, get out of my way please, thank you, I'm gonna go back here, and we're gonna park it right here, alright, let's go in here, beautiful scenes, uh, oh, what the hell, it did it for me, I, 
That's new. Okay, it literally did it for me. I can't back out. I can't I can't put it in reverse. It automatically placed me in the garage area. That's never happened to me before. Okay, fair enough. Nice. There we go. So guys, in conclusion, no. No. It doesn't make the game good. The game is what the game is. It actually is a worse version of what it was. Um like genuinely, I think the next gen update, whenever they brought that in, it ruined the game even more. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it is a worse version of what it was. Even the best tracks are not as fun with the AI because the AI are just absolutely incompetent. The only way you can enjoy this game genuinely is if you play online on PC. If you find enough people to race with, I can see a way where that would be fun. But other than that, no. There is no way to enjoy this game. There's no settings you can make to enjoy this game because if you make the settings to where the AI are raceable and not as and and not too slow or not too fast, then the car is going to drive terribly because you have assists on. If you turn the assists off, then the AI are going to be terrible and you're going to either be super fast or you know they're going to be faster than you, and they're going to do things that there's just there's there's not a there's not a method there's not a mix that you can get. Uh, at the majority of these racetracks where you can have a good time. So, there's the answer. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.